We're on a ferry from one island to another island. We're on our way to Fogo. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. That's a great looking campsite there to the right. We've also got a few people sleeping in. They're taking advantage of a day off the road, so to speak. I did deliberately set this up with a few options. Today is a base camp day. We're going to Fogo, but there's a lot of people who are going to stay and explore in the Twillingate area. Okay. We've got about an hour of riding to get to the ferry terminal at Farewell. So it's about 6.45. I want, to, want us to get there in plenty of time. We're going to try to get on the first ferry out. Ferry ride is about an hour. And then we're going to spend six to eight hours on Fogo and planning to get on the second to last ferry coming back. I don't want us to wait for the very last ferry because, well, you just might not get on. It's certainly a pleasant ride in the early morning sun. Robert and I are riding together and we expect to see a couple more people at the ferry terminal when we get there. It's going to be a little bit of an odd day. I don't have the trailer behind me so there's no trailer cameras. I'm experimenting a bit and I also find out that there are times today when I just don't have a camera on. You pay at the ferry terminal at Farewell for the round trip. There's no kiosk on the Fogo side. $13 here if you're going to Fogo Island. Yep, going to Fogo. Down the front of lane one, good enough, thank you. The ferry is in dock, and you can see that there's quite a few cars already lined up. Get down to the head, and Steve from our group is there, and also Lisa, who is joining us on her Vespa 300. Good morning! Oh, could be... No, it couldn't be much better. Not much. Do you know Jim? I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I met Lisa from the channel. Yeah. I knew she was coming. I don't know how quickly they'll load us. Because I know that they, they want to get away at, at, seven thir at 8.30. 
Uh, there may not be tie downs. The water, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. I do have tie downs anyway. Yeah. I think they're going to load us. They're going to load us now. Ready? Ready? So I met Lisa a couple of weeks ago in Halifax. She was asking me questions about visiting Newfoundland and we had a great discussion in Tim's about it. She's camping and traveling on her Vespa 300 and I just applaud her for that. She's going in the opposite direction as we are around the province but she was able to time it to join us at Dildo Run Provincial Park and now today on our trip to Fogo Island. There's not as many tie-down points in the deck as there are on the Marine Atlantic ferries. But this is going to be such a calm crossing, we're going to be just fine. Today is just an absolutely beautiful day to be out on the water. It's calm, it's sunny. And I even get a chance to wave at my shadow on the stern. on the Fogo Island Ferry. Nice, relatively modern ferry. I think this is the Veteran. Should take about an hour to get across. And it left at eight o'clock in the morning. We thought it was leaving at 8.30. We got right on. Uh, it was pretty full. But a lot of people are up on deck. It is a beautiful sunny morning. We do a quick regroup when we get off the ferry. And now we're off to explore the island. I'm looking at the number of cars and trucks that are lined up right now to take the ferry back to the mainland. I definitely think we should be shooting for the second to last ferry. I just think we should. We first go down to Island Harbor, stop there, get the drones up, take a few stills. Robert's going to have much better luck with his drone than I do. Operator error. We go over to the town of Fogo and stop at Brimstone Head. There is a campground here, but it's actually most noted for being one of the four corners of the Flat Earth, according to the Flat Earth Society anyway. So this is Joe Bat's arm. Neat little stages and stuff. 
I've been to Fogo a few times, usually in the winter, and usually on trips to check out old churches as possible theater venues. We head on down the road to Tilting. Tilting is a really interesting little harbor and town. Very Irish. There's a lot of the island that feels very familiar to me. And I must admit, it does bring back some memories of sharing the scenery here with someone, well, long time ago now. Unfortunately, in the last couple of years with the decline in tourists due to COVID, a number of restaurants on the island have closed down. So it wasn't quite as easy to find some place to eat as I'd originally hoped. We go back into Joe Bat's arm from Tilting. So this is the harbor of Joe Bat's Arm. Way in the distance is the Fogo Island Inn, and this is about as close as we can afford to come to it. World class place to go. I'm going to link Robert's video on Fogo Island in the description. He did much better with his drone shots. I kept on forgetting to hit record. We might be having a little trouble finding a restaurant, but we do find Growler's Ice Cream Shop. It's all homemade flavors. Homemade molasses gingerbread ice cream. It was to die for. We do get just a little bit closer to the Fogo Island Inn. And then it's time to, well, we really need to find some place to eat. And luckily at the center of the island is the Cod Jigger Diner. People have gotten a little sidetracked by the scenery. So we lost Lisa a couple of hours ago and then lost Steve as well. But here he is and he's found a Beamer. That's not one of ours. I really need to take more notes. Six months after being there, I can't remember what I had. I just know it was good. So we're now on our way back to the ferry. I'm not sure why Steve pulled off, but he'll catch up with us shortly.
We've had a really great day on Fogo Island. I've only been able to show you a smidgen of the scenery and the camera just can't do it justice anyway. We also didn't stop at any of the historical places. We didn't go see Dory's. Didn't go to the Marconi interpretation. We didn't walk the trails at Brimstone Head. We get over and the ferry has only left a few minutes ago. Lisa is there waiting for us though. I think we'll make it on the next one. <laughs> yeah. It's another smooth crossing back to farewell. We get off the ferry and Lisa's in the lead and I'm certainly not going to contest that. We get back to camp, get a little supper on the go, and then my intention is to change my rear brake pads. Any of you who've had really good ears have heard them grinding in the last couple of videos. That's my intention. I figure if I'm going to be working on the back end, I probably need to replace a couple of bolts and nuts maybe on the trailer hitch as well. I'm a little shocked to find that actually the trailer hitch is broken. This is Friday night. Will I be able to find a welder in Twillingate on a Saturday? You're just going to have to join me in the next video and see how I dealt with this. Thanks for coming along.